Hey guys, what is up? My name is Jake, and we are playing some Black Ops 2 today. This is my 20,000th time trying to record this commentary, because I just screw up in the middle of it, or I go too long and continue talking. So, my one topic for this video is dragon fire strategies. In case you don't know what a dragon fire is, a dragon fire is a kill streak in Black Ops 2. It takes about... If I remember about nine kills to get, I'm actually gonna Google that really quick. Never mind, I'm not gonna Google that really quick. So it won't be very quick, and it'll take a full five minutes probably. Right here, I capture B for my team. I'm trying to play the objective in this. I don't think I do very well. I get lucky on these kills, but yeah, I'm getting off topic. Dragon fire strategies. Um, for a dragon fire, you need to fly it off the map or where people cannot see it. Never fly it in the middle of the map. Like, if you fly it in the middle of the map, people are, like, five or th two or three people are going to start shooting at you because they can see you very easily. So they'll just shoot at you and you'll get brought down e really easily because it takes almost nothing to shoot down Dragonfire. I'll shoot one down later in this game. I just got it. I really think I should have killed that guy. Um, don't call that in because I think I can use it for later. I don't really use it very well, but... Yeah, that's my main Dragonfire strategy. My second one that my, um... That I also found out is if you, like, hide behind something and you just keep going up and then going down, going up, killing someone, going down, going up, killing someone, going down, going up, killing someone, going down, you get the point. And you'll get up kills and people won't be able to shoot you down. Eventually, if you keep doing that long enough and people get pissed, they will find a way to kill you. Well, like, sneak up behind the dragon fire and, like, kill you. I don't know. But it works good if you're in, like, a nuketown window. Like, in nuketown, if you're in, like, the window or on the roof, you can shoot him down easy. Right here, I kill myself with it, which is sort of stupid. But I do. Get four kills, I think, I got with it. One before that. And... Once I die here, I die here by jumping into some shock charges. And this leads back into our next topic, about campers. One camper in the hot tub right there. I hate people that camp in that hot tub. Bathtub. I call it a bathtub. And, yeah, they are really annoying and they just piss me off. Now, what I got carried away with last time was telling everyone my story about a camper that was hiding underground and hijacked and we were playing capture the flag. I was trying to get the flag, but there was this three campers that were underground. They all had like shotguns and they just kept killing everyone that went down there. And I got so pissed off at them. Like I just kept going and they kept killing me. Kept going, they kept killing me, but if you heard me correctly, it was capture the flag. So yeah, I snuck around the map because there was only three other guys up here. I killed two of them, if I remember correctly. And I got their flag, ran underground. They didn't notice. I snuck up, knifed one, and killed the other two. And I kept going, captured the flag for my team. We won that round. Those guys went back underground. They started camping again. And it just got, like, so annoying. So, yeah. So that's one reason I hate campers, like, especially that one reason, because once they kill you once, you're like, oh, I'm going to kill them the next time, when you're really not. And I may say that, you shouldn't, once they kill you once, just avoid them, but I say that, I will not follow that rule, I'm just saying, I will never follow that rule. Here I shoot down dragon fire, see how, sh see how easy it is to shoot it down, get one and a half kills for it, which I think is pretty sweet, I never knew that. So I'm going to shoot them down more. You should too. But, yeah. That, this is going to wrap up the end of my commentary. Um, last video, I got 50 views on it. Last time I checked. Five likes, one comment saying, Hey dude, nice video, check me out. And I was like, heh, <laughs> Check me out. <laughs> I'm not mature at all. But anyway, he, um... What is it? I think I got like two subscribers from that video. I was impressed. And that's the score 31 and 17 right there. It's my score. Hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. I know it was not the best and I did not win it.
but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And uh, go ahead and give this video a like, comment for suggestions and bugs that I have, and go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Jake. I'm saying goodbye. Goodbye.